A lot of smoke rolling out. Looks like the 88. Smoke coming out the back. We got run into in the back. Well, you see the damage to the nose. A heavy, heavy damage to the left front. And caution comes out again. The radiator out for the 88. His final Brickyard 400 appearance is going to end early. That'll be it for the 88 with a damage repair policy if NASCAR deems that was an accident, which I'm sure they will due to the damage on the front and the rear of the 88. He won't be able to, um, he will not be able to come to pit road and, and change that radiator. He'll have to go to the garage and then his day will be over. All the conversations about track position, the further back you get, the more opportunity you have to be in these problems. Remember that gun switched backwards, put the lug nuts on the wrong way. That got him in the back and ultimately never could get himself back up front and gets in this wreck. Take another look at what happened. He said he got run into in the back. They were tight nose to tail right along with him. This will tell the story right here. Still there. Clear behind him. Boom. 13 is going to fill that hole. 13 inside. All stacked up. Two by two. Doesn't seem got like a bunch it would of be coming out the back. We got run into in the back. To knock the radiator out of it, but much like the pit equipment, these race cars now are built very aggressively to try to keep up. I mean, everyone in the field is trying to build the lightest car possible that makes the most downforce, and just right there between the bumper bars. Things go bad that quickly. 